so we saw the series reaction kinetics in the last lecture so we'll be continuing on the same so we saw that concentration of b after time t was written as or can be written as bt equals to k1 a naught divided by k2 minus k1 e to the power minus k1 t or rather we can write it as we saw that it was bt into e to the power k2 t and it was e to the power k1 minus k2 t here k1 minus k2 t here minus 1 here so what what, what how we are rewriting it is e to the power k2 t times bt would be equals to k1 a naught k1 minus k2 times e to the power k1 t divided by e to the power k2 t minus 1 is there so we are just <laughs> multiplying this term with this k2t so as a result we will be getting or rather uh, let's this this is rather k2 minus k1t not k1 minus k2 this is k2 minus k1 so rather than doing this let's just simplify this by just dividing k2t or other cross multiplying k2t into the denominator of this term so you would be getting bt as e to the power minus k1 t minus e to the power minus k2 t ok so now what we can say is if we actually do that when is the t max for for whenever the concentration of b is not changing with time so what is the t max here so for finding it we will be equating dbt by dt would be equals to zero as this would be the time when the concentration of b would would not be changing with time so this would be d by dt of k1 a naught upon k2 minus k1 times e to the power minus k1 t minus e to the power minus k2 t would be equals to should be equals to 0 should be equals to 0 so we can write that this term would all always this is a constant term so doesn't mind it can go to the left right hand side and be again 0 so it would be d by dt of e to the power minus k1 t minus e to the power minus k2 t should be equals to 0. So we can write that d by dt of e to the power minus k1 t should be equals to d by dt of e to the power minus k2 t. Okay, we are just adjusting the terms here. So for uh, in this we can write that it would be minus k1 e to the power minus k1 t that should be equals to minus k2 e to the power minus k2 t minus minus get cancelled out so finally we would be getting k1 upon k2 would be equals to e to the power k1 minus k2 t or t is the t max rather taking log both the sides so we will be getting ln k1 upon log to the base e rather k1 upon k2 would be equals to k1 minus k2 t max so from here we can calculate t max as 1 upon k1 minus k2 ln k1 upon k2 this would be t max okay now now we can write that so this was about the b part now we, we will be seeing about the c part so we can write dc by dt 
I hope you remember the reaction goes as follows a to b to c okay so this is k1 and this is k2 rate constant so dc by dt would be k2 times concentration of b okay so bt can be written as now we know that bt is k1 upon k2 minus k1 a naught e to the power minus k1 t minus e to the power minus k2 t okay so dc by dt can be written as k2 what is the concentration of b concentration of b is b1 up, uh, k1 upon k2 minus k1 times a naught e to the power minus k1 t minus e to the power minus k2 t okay so when in uh, just take dt on the right hand side and integrate it so we will be getting c t would be k1 k2 divided by k2 minus k1 a naught then e to the power minus kt minus e to the power minus k2 t this is getting integrated to the dt so after integration we would have ct as k1 k2 divided by k2 minus k1 a naught then we will be getting e to the power minus k1 t divided by minus k1 plus e to the power k2 t which is minus k2 divided by k2 obviously plus c okay so when t equals to 0 we would be getting that when t is actually 0 ct is also 0 ok so it would be rather c would be equals to a naught why am i saying this because when t equals to 0 when we put substitute this value here we will be getting 0 would be equals to this is k1 k2 divided by k2 minus k1 a naught when t equals to 0 this would be 1 divided by minus k1 plus 1 upon k2 this would be again k2 minus k1 this is plus c here so this would be again k1 k2 divided by k2 minus k1 a naught this would be k2 minus k1 divided by minus k1 k2 plus c k2 minus k1 and k1 k2 get cut it out so we will be getting minus a naught plus c so this implies c would be equals to a naught so just putting the value of c again in this original equation so we would be getting finally the concentration of c at time t would be equals to ct would be equals to k1 k2 divided by k2 minus k1 a naught times e to the power minus k2 t divided by k2 minus e to the power minus k1 t divided by k1 plus a naught so this would be the value of ct ok so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we will be seeing some graphs on the same of the series the kinetics of series equations or series reactions and then we will be moving on to RNA's equations so till then good luck and good bye